in arithmetic ability the topic is time and work so interesting topic this is first i'll explain you in this time and work topic all the important points so after completing all the important points and theory part of this uh, topic then we'll see one uh, one model paper so an exercise paper from time and work how the questions will come any point of any examinations any competitive exams how the questions will come so here are some problems so i'll show you and i'll explain so before that so okay not only this uh, only the paper there are plenty of papers are available in this following site so which i am showing here always you see here yeah. now this is a website foundation for iit.com so if you uh, see in this site you will find out some other model papers from this topic not only this topic all other topics also available here and this website is not only for arithmetic ability even uh, cbsc icsc ssc and intermediate materials also available from 6th class to 12th class for free of cost and you subscribe the channel because you'll upload only educational videos fine so let us start the topic now time and work so now here a person for example a person can do some work in five days so there is some work is there now one person can do this total work maybe any work it takes five days so one day how much part he can do that means this total work if you divide into five parts so exactly if we can divide into five parts so every day one one part he can do now this is for example he'll do first part first day that means this is one by five and next day again one by five third day one by five fourth day one by five fifth day also one by five that means if a person can do a work in certain days for example five days or some yum days so in one day he can do one by yum work so one by yum part of the work he can do so like this based on the uh, situation there are some important points are there i'll write one of the one by all the points one by one so these points will help us uh, to solve the exercise problems from any computer exams so especially this is uh, inversely proportional means uh, five members if we can do one work in two days in 10 members if we send they'll do less than the two days right so in one day only they can finish that's why this is inversely proportional questions will come in this 10 men can do a work in two days only five men if you go they will take the work for four days so double it so if this values decrease and this value increase okay this is the inversely proportional so like this uh, situation will depend on this topic time and work okay first uh, I'll write all the top all the important points so around 10 important points are there from this time and work topic every question any question from this time and work only from this out of this 10 points only the problems will come the first one if yam can do a piece of work in p days so i'm taking some letters M can do a work in P days. Then that M, the same work is completed by M in one day. Then M can do the same work in one day. In one day, he can do one by P. Okay, just I explained before.
similarly if m can do a work in 1 by p if m's one day work is 1 by p So it is one day work is one by p. Then total work you can completed by m in p days. Then total work you can complete in p days. Okay, just both are vice versa, just reverse. If you can do a work in p days, means one day one by p. If one day is one by p means you can complete the work in p days. Okay, for example, if you see, a man can do work in seven days. So if a man can do in work in seven days means in one day. So how much he can do? In one day he can do 1 by 7. So 1 by 7th part of the work only he can do in one day itself. So this is the based on this same point. Next. So when we combine two persons, for example, if M can complete the work in P days and N can do in Q days, then they both can complete how it is. If M can do a piece of work in P days. Okay, for example, M can do in some three days or four days. So some of the days. Then one more person, same work. N is another person. He can do same work in Q days. Then they together can complete the work. They together can do the same work. Combine is P into Q by P plus Q days. So product of uh, P and Q by sum of the PQ. Or let us take one example. For example, Raju can do a piece of work in two days. Same work, some Ravi can do the same work in three days. So both together, so individually they can do two and three days separately. Right? If the both together means it must be less than 2, then together, together can do the same work is P into Q. So 2 into 3 by 2 plus 3, 6 by 5. 6 by 5 is hardly 1 more than 1 day. 6 by 5, divide by 5. 1 1 by 5 so 1 1 by 5 days only they can complete next okay this is one situation so one one uh, uh, point is for one situation now one more for example, if M can do a piece of work in P days, but with the help of N, he can do the Q days. That means, M 
M can do a piece of work in P days. Then, but with the help of N, he can do in Q days. With the help of N means M plus N. M plus N. M and N. Both can do the work in Q days. With the help of N. So, together. Then N can complete the work alone. N can do work alone is equal to same P into Q by here it subtract it P minus Q. So from which is the big number that we can subtract. P into Q by P minus Q. That is N can do the work, same work alone. One more. For example, M completes the piece of work P days, N Q days, O are there. Three persons are there. Not only two. The three persons are given separately. M can do a piece of work in P days. And N can do the same piece of work Q days. Okay, we can give any question. In questions, we'll give some numbers instead of PQR. M, N, and O is on third person. Can do in R days. In case of three members, then all together. Then together means M plus N plus Q. M and, uh, sorry, M and O. Together can do the work in P into Q into R by P into Q plus Q into R plus R into P days. So this many days, three together can do. Okay, first we will multiply all P into Q into R, then two two will multiply and add. And then let me take an example for this. For example, A, B, C. A can do a work in two days. For example, B can do the same work in three days. C can do in four days. That means A plus B plus C can do together in according to formula 2 into 3 into 4. P into Q into R. By 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus 4 into 2. So this value if you simplify all together how many days they can do it will get. We can solve 2 3 0 6 4 7 24 by 6 plus 12 plus 8 26 24 by 26 so less than one day that means if you simplify 12 by 13 12 by 13 days they can complete that means in less than one day it is fine one more concept in this So basic formulas if you remember, or directly you can apply the formula and you can solve these problems. Like uh, so previous uh, point only, it will change. If M and N complete the piece of work in P days, M and N together can do a work in P days. If uh, and N and O together can do the work in Q days, 
and other two and O and M. O and M can do the work in R days. Okay, in this situation, then all working together can complete. Then all together. That means only M N work together. All together. P into Q into R, but two into P into Q into R because uh, two two times is increasing. That's why we multiply two by P into Q, Q into R, R into P, P Q R. So these days, extra two will be multiplied in the numerator. So again there is a worksheet exercise paper is there every method there is one some questions are there and that i'll explain again using this uh, points key points okay let us take a little let us take an example for this let me take an example in this situation Now A, B, C, three persons are there. For example, A and B together can do the work in ten days. Same work B and C can do in twelve days. C and A can do the work in, for example, fifteen days. Then this formula is applicable. Then A plus B plus C only. Can do in two into p into q p q r. Okay, the according to formula, two into ten into twelve into fifteen by p into q. Ten into twelve plus twelve into fifteen plus fifteen into ten. Now this is the Numbers we need to simplify. Two into ten into twelve into fifteen. Okay, twenty. Again, multiply. Two into twenty. Twenty into twelve into fifteen. By again, denominator also will simplify. So one twenty plus fifteen into twelve. 180 plus 150. So how many days you'll get in? 240 into 15 by 120 plus 180. 450. So 00. 15 ones are 15 threes are. Three ones are three eights. Yes. So in eight days. A only A B C all together they can complete the work. Okay, this is the method. Next, then same time and work concept even for filling water pipes. The tank filling also will come uh, similar questions. For example, if a pipe, same depend how the persons can work, the pipe filling work also will come same type of questions. Let me show this. If a pipe can fill a tank in A hours. In some hours, a pipe can fill up. Then the part filled in one hour. In one hour is equals to one by A. Okay, I, we have seen previous right. If a person can do seven days, means in one day one by seven. A pipe can fill the tank in a hours. 
So in one part filled in one hour is one by eight. For example, a pipe can fill in six hours. Then in one hour, in one hour it can fill only one by sixth part. So one by sixth part it can fill up. Similarly, not only filling can empty also. Same we can take. If a pipe can empty a tank in a hours, then the part emptied by one hour also one by eight. Two more uh, points are there I tell you. If if a pipe can empty empty the so full tank and full tank is there can empty the full tank in b hours then part emptied in one hour so one hour is equals to one by b same how we are filling we take empty also will be same okay for example this is a tank now in this for, okay this to empty this total tank it takes three hours now every one hour it take but means you should make in three parts so one two every one hour one one part can fill up so in one hour means it will fill it empty one by third. Even filling also one by third. If it is completely empty to fill also one third. To empty full tank also one third. <coughs> so depend on the same uh, concept. For example two pipes. If a pipe P can fill the tank in hours and Q can empty the full tank in BRs. So one is uh, filled and one is filling, one is emptying. In that case, if a pipe P can fill the tank in ARs. In ARs it can fill and a pipe Q can empty the full tank in BRs. It can empty the full tank in BRs. So where you take it must be condition B should be greater than A. Otherwise, it never uh, fill up, right? B should be greater than A. Then the net part filled in one hour. This is equals to one by A minus one by B. 1 by A is uh, filling and emptying is 1 by B. That is B minus A by A into B. Now from this, the total time to take. 1 hour it can fill B minus A by A by B. <coughs> B minus A by A into B. Then total time to take. 
to fill the tank is a into b by b minus a just you have to do reciprocal of this now one hour it can fill this much so total time taken means you can take reverse we have seen for example one hour is one by a means the time taken to complete is a so we will do reciprocal of fraction similarly m uh, both can fill also same like 1 by a plus 1 by b or 1 by a minus 1 by b now these are the important uh, key points from this uh, time and work now based on this uh, important points uh, let us see how to solve the questions in examination point of view so i'll show you one worksheet here now okay this is one worksheet one exercise paper from time and work topic now only one exercise i explain here so many exercises and many worksheets are there in the site so which i'm showing here even there's a link in description below you can uh, click on that directly uh, redirect to the site and you can download okay let us solve the sums now how the questions are coming let us suresh complete a piece of work in 20 days ramesh can complete the same work in 30 days how many days both suresh and ramesh together can do so the first i said formula how many days both can do? the formula is p into q by p plus q right so suresh is 20 and ramesh is 30 that is 20 into 30 by 20 plus 30 so this is the together they can do in normal days means we just simplify this 2 in 20 into 30 600 by 50 cancel it 5 ones are 5 twelve. so both the together here they can do together complete the work in 12 days so the important formula is just remember p into q by p plus q similarly one more question a can do a piece of work in 15 days but with the help of b he can do it in 12 days so this is a alone 15 days with the help of b he can do 12 days this is a plus b together in what time can be alone can do okay a himself is 15 with the help of b means 12 days is uh, work done by a and b together so for this uh, point as a due that is p into q by p minus q okay. that is the uh, same 15 into 12 by 15 minus 12 15 into 12 by 15 minus 12 is 3 you can simplify 3 1 0, 3 4 0. 15 4 0, 60 so 60 days uh, B can do alone in the same work right next question this is the pipes the problem so last two three points I said you right that one two pipes p and q can fill a cistern in 12 minutes and 15 minutes respectively that means p can p pipe itself can fill it in 12 minutes same system q can fill it itself in 15 minutes if both are open together then how much time is to be required to fill the tank both are open together that means both working together so this also same like uh, previous formula only can take that is uh, p into q by p plus q so it works even for pipes systems also same concept because they are open together 
and then 12 into 15 by 12 plus 15 you can multiply and divide this 12 15 12 so 180 by 12 plus 15 is 27 so 180 by 27 minutes you can simplify 9 3 is a 9 20 is a 20 by 3 okay formula is same uh, for both even for persons can work or even pipe uh, some also yeah clear this next one this is Ravi Srinu Anil uh, can complete a piece of work in 6, 10, 15 days respectively in how many days all the three persons together can do okay together no, I said you one formula that is P into Q into R by P into Q plus Q into R plus R into P so these are the days toge uh, together 6 10 15 6 10 15 so these are the days Individually, they can complete. Ravi, Srinu, Anil. So Ravi can complete in six days. Srinu and Anil. Anil can complete in fifteen days. So let us take this P Q R. So formula is P into Q into R by P into Q plus Q into R plus R into P. 6 into 10 into 15 by 6 into 10 plus 10 into 15 plus 15 into 6 so let's solve this Fifteen six ninety. 900 60 plus 150 plus 90 so 900 by 300 that is equal to 3 so 3 ones are 3 pieces so in three days, uh, Ravi, Srinu, Anil all together can complete the work. Yeah, this answer. The same questions here. Fifth one, father with his son can complete a piece of work in 20 days. That means father and son together. Father can complete it alone in 30 days. Then how many days required for son to complete the same work alone? So this formula is P into Q by P minus Q because one first cadre is together. Next one is alone. So father says uh, P minus Q. Father can complete a work in alone in 30 days. P you can take this is Q you can take that is 30 into 20 by 30 minus 20 30 into 20 is 600 by 10 60 days so in 60 days the sun can complete the work See, we'll see next one. M can do a certain work. Your question. M can do a certain work in 25 days, which N alone can do it in 20 days. 
M started the work and was joined by N after 10 days. The work can be completed for N. So this set of questions are important. You need to know what is given exactly. M can do the work in 25 days and alone can do it in 20 days. M started the work and was joined by N after 10 days. That means 10 days M already finished. So 10 days already M finished. So remaining work. I'll take the board and explain this one. First, we should know what is the balance work. So, according to the formula, combined means P into Q by P plus Q. P into Q by P plus Q is the formula. But here, condition is. M can do a certain work 25 days, but N joined after 10 days. That means 25 minus 10. 25 minus 10 means already 10 days work is over. So remaining work is 15 days. So remaining 15 days work only should divide for 25. Next we can do. Now M can do in 25 and N can do 20 days. So rest of the part is asked us. 25 and 10. 20, uh, 25 into 20 by 25 plus 20. So if you observe here, this part 25 into 20 by 25 plus 20 is uh, two members together if there is no any condition. But extra condition is 25 minus 10 because from 25 days after 10 days and join up uh, okay and join so 10 days you have to remove so remaining 15 days we should divide by 25 because m capacity is 25 now this value you can simplify so divide by 25 means who worked for that 10 days that we should take because already m can work for 25 days Okay, let's explain more briefly here. M can do work in 25 days. But one day he can do 1 by 25, right? So 10 days he worked already. That means 10 into 1 by 25. So 10 by 25. So this 10 by 25 only. Tendency worked. So remaining is 20, 10 by 25 part is over. So this part completed. Now the remaining remaining work is for remaining 15 days by 25. So this is the remaining work. 25 minus 10. So 15 by 25 into these capacities. 25 into 20 by 25 plus 20 is 45 we can simplify so 15 3 so 20 by 3 20 by 3 you can simplify 20 divided by 3 6 2 by 3 so 6 2 by 3 days the together can complete remaining days so condition what condition they are given that you have to write exercise next one the days for completing a certain work by a and b in the ratio 5 is to 6 then the ratio of their working efficiency 
working efficiency is 6 is to 5 because it's recipe uh, working efficient is inversely proportional to the time now this working efficiency is inversely proportional to the time now a and b can complete work in 5 to 6 means their working efficiency is 6 is to 5 okay 5 is to 6 is inversely proportional is 6 is to 5 so direct answer always work is inversely proportional to you can take time one more question here Mahesh can do 3 by 4 of work in 12 days he can finish half of the work in how many days ok 3 by 4 work in 12 days he can complete how he can finish 1 by 2 work in how many days yeah. so statement you can write here like this Wide number of days that means 3 by 4 of the work in 12 days that means his capacity is 4 by 3 into 12 so you should take reciprocal four by three into twelve and they are asking for one by two so you can finish half of the work in how many days so half of the work means into 1 by 2 just to simplify 3 1 zero, 3 4 zero, 2 1 zero, 2 2 zero, 4 2 zero, 8 okay in 8 days you can complete Similarly, one more question. Ninth, P and Q can do a piece of work in 45 days and 40 days respectively. So P45 and Q40, P45, Q40. They began to do the work together, but P left after nine days. So after nine days, P left. Then the remaining part of the work can completed by the Q. Okay, first I'll write the data, then I'll write some short remark for this. So P capacity is 45 days. And Q is equals to 40 days. They can do. They began to do the work, but P left after nine days. Means nine days they worked together. Okay, then N is equals to nine. So nine days already they worked together. Then required number of days. So Q40 40 minus so 9 days they worked like this 45 40 So this is we can simplify. But P only left 
the after 9 days. So p value you can remove. So p is 45 days. Then if you simplify 40 minus 9 ones are 9 fives. 85 by 5, 40 minus. You can simplify. Minus 17. 23 days, then the remaining person can do himself. Two women and three boys can do a piece of work in 10 days while three women two boys can do same work in eight days in how many days can two women and one boy can do the work Yeah, options are given. Okay, I'll tell you this. Okay, let us take the board. Here, yeah, two women and three boys can do a piece of work in 10 days. Three women and two boys. Okay, options we'll see. 10, 11. Fine. So, I count the question. Two women plus three boys. They can do the work in 10 days. Means one day they can do. This is set all two together. Two women and three boys can do a piece of work in 10 days. So in one day. One day they can do 1 by 10. Three women plus two boys can do. One day in one by eight. Now, if you take some number of women is same x, number of boys is y means two x plus three y is equal to one by ten, three x plus two y is equal to one by eight. Now, if you solve that x value, y value will get so women is equal to seven by two hundred will cut, boys equals to one by hundred will get. Then we need Two women plus one boy. They're asking two women plus one boy. That is uh, two into seven by two hundred plus one by hundred. So eight by hundred. That is equals to two by twenty five. So they can complete the work in twenty five by two. Reverse. They can complete. 25 by 2 days that is 12 and a half days okay. so based on these two equations only this one woman can do one boy so you can change question like this 2x plus 3y is equals to 1 by 10 3x plus 2y is equals to 1 by 8 so make the coefficient same and you can solve so this is in linear equations so chapter will come if you solve then woman is x and boy is white.
then you can solve the 2 women and 1 boy women can do 12 end of days yeah 12 end of days you can complete this Okay, now some printing not come next time. Okay, I'll write the question and I'll show you. A tank can be filled by one tap. Okay, this uh, 12th one. A tank can be filled by one tap in 20. This 20 minutes. And by another is 25 minutes. Both taps are opened for 5 minutes. And the second tap is turned off. In how many more minutes the tank can completely fill? Okay, right here. Twelfth one. They give capacities of taps together. Twenty and twenty-five. A tap and B tap. Let me take. A tap capacities. Twenty minutes. And B tap to fill up. Another tap fill capacity is 25. 25 minutes. So both together. So A plus B tap uh, together means in one minute they can take this 20 minutes means in one minute it can fill up 1 by 20. This 25 means in one minute it can fill 1 by 25. So that together is 1 by 20 plus 1 by 25. This part is done for 5 minutes. Okay, 5 minutes they are on. 5 into 1 by 20 plus 1 by 25. 5 into 9 by 100. If you take LCM, 9 by 100 you get. So 9 by 20 part is over now so remaining is remaining is equals total if you take one remaining is one minus nine by twenty that is eleven by twenty so eleven by twenty part can fill by another tap in one minute therefore eleven by twenty can this much part can be filled eleven by twenty into twenty because uh, a tap can fill in twenty minutes. Twenty twenty cancel that is eleven. <coughs> so eleven minutes it can complete uh, filling the tank. So similarly, some more questions are there in this. You can see. Thirteen, fourteen. So not only this, other worksheet uh, questions also will show you. Both these are the problems. Second exercise, third exercise is also available. You can download other papers also from this. For example, one question will say, four men and six women finish a job in eight days. 
3 and 7 women finish in 10 days. 10 women working alone will finish it in. So we have done one problem in the same previous. So work done by 4 men and 6 women in one day. 1 by 8. That means you take some 4 men plus 6 women can do the work in one day is 1 by 8. Right? Next to 3 women, 3 men plus 7 women. Three men plus seven women can do the work in one day is one by ten. Now let it be this first equation, second equation. Now these equations you have to solve. On solving, you can make the coefficient same. Second equation if you multiply with four, first equation multiply with three. First equation multiply with three. Second equation multiply with 4. So, linear equations uh, chapter you can see this type of problems. That is uh, 12 men, 6 3 is 18 women equal to 3 by 8. With 4 you multiply. Complete equation you have to multiply with 4. No, 4 by 10. Now, if you subtract, change the sign. Then minus 10 is equal to you get minus 1 by 40. If you subtract, so if you cancel, 10 women can do in 40 days. One by 40 got. So if you reciprocally, they can fill in, they can do work in 40 days. Well, 10 women they asked. Okay, equations you have to make. So linear equation type of questions. If you have idea about linear equation, you can solve such type of questions in this. So similarly, some other problems also are there. Same like this 11 also same. You can uh, go through these questions. So these are all the problems uh, related to the time and work um, concept problems. So including solutions of this and all you can download this uh, model papers and some other questions also from this website. So you can subscribe this channel. I hope you understood well. So be in touch for some other videos and you can see the playlist for all the remaining topics videos from this arithmetic ability fine i hope you understood well thank you for watching and you can subscribe the channel because we will upload only educational videos in this